Uh, Mr. Patel, thank you very much for joining us. Well, uh, do you think that this problem we saw in the spot commodity exchange could extend to the commodity futures? Do you think at least their institutions are in place? Uh, there is always a possibility of a domino effect. Because uh, when there is exposure, financial exposure in one segment, which is underlying is the same, then if it goes into futures, yes, definitely there can be signs of weakness. And uh, whether that will have re real effect in terms of the value uh, and the volume would have an issue uh, to be discussed and uh, I mean debated. But then, as of uh, in terms of uh, structure issue, yes, it can pass through. Mm -hmm. Where do you see the problem coming in? Do you think that uh, the, this collateral issue, warehouse receipts would be a problem for uh, the futures exchanges or would it be, uh, you know, the, 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 the settlement guarantee fund? Where are the weak links according to you? The weakest link is settlement. Okay. You see, uh, collateral issues come at the next stage when you are going into a physical delivery and as we know, futures ex uh, except agriculture contracts, no, none of them are, I mean, basically uh, delivery settled. So that is where uh, uh, somebody's exposure and blocking of money, non-receipt of uh, the pay-in and uh, pay-out would, could uh, lead to uh, weakness being translated into the settlement uh, part of the futures exchange as well. We have to see this on expiry after expiry to really see uh, where the people have taken the exposures. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Patel, we, know, we do know of course all the problems that are currently underway but what could the most um, feasible solution be at this point in time in your mind? Uh, I think it's a multi-level uh, um, approach. First is immediate mm -hmm. and in the immediate uh, uh, future we should be looking at what the government, uh, particularly Minister uh, of Consumer Affairs, trying to do. Professor Thomas in fact mm -hmm. uh, made a statement today of strengthening WDRA. Uh, so that is and making uh, warehousing compulsory for uh, um, all the accreditation with the WDRA. That's one uh, part. But what I see another gap which nobody has even thought about. who controls and regulates vaults where precious metal gold bullion all other things are laying there is no regulation and uh, we have seen this default and stocks and everything coming into this then maybe we may be uh, waiting in a wings uh, another um, issue on the bullion side so i believe that the warehousing concept should be uh, expanded to include the vaults alternatively the um, exchanges which are having uh, vault uh, bullion ex uh, contract should uh, be keeping their uh, bullion or precious metal only in the vaults of the public sector banks. Mm. I think that is one nobody has even looked at it. Mm. The second fundamental issue, uh, Lata, would be that uh, uh, what about the integrated unified uh, settlement? I am not talking regulator, that's a different mm. issue. Settlement. We have a settlement uh, clearing houses and clearing corporations for each of these stock exchanges, each of the future comexes. Spot comes under the radar and there yeah. is nothing of that. But if we really look, now we look at integrated financial market and as we were talking about in the beginning of the risk transferring from one, uh, one segment to another, to another, another yeah. market and the fungibility of funds is so, I mean, with electronic digital money. Mm -hmm. I think there is a need and way back in 2007-2008 the uh, SEBI and Ministry of Finance were looking at uh, the integrated, in the integrated uh, uh, or one single uh, clearing corporation. I think this is a real right time to look at uh, review that and uh, I think even IASCO CCP um, central counterparty would uh, actually dictate that one of the terms and India complies with major of IASCO terms in terms of capital market. I think that is where uh, people should be uh, and regulatory and the government uh, authority should be concentrating mm. to see yes my friends at the exchanges are going to hit me on this they will not like it but then frankly <laughs> we can always find out. No, no there is an FSDC in place uh, so clearly you know the integrated uh, uh, clearing corp uh, should be an idea which should be on their plate but that is perhaps for the day after tomorrow yeah. uh, for tomorrow and for today we have to worry about settlement in the uh, commodity right. future exchanges simply because a problem has emerged in the commodity spot exchange I'm looking at the commodity futures exchange uh, uh, mm. how conversant are you with the settlement uh, uh, you know patterns over there do you think that they are adequately protected at all uh, each action, and there again is the same thing. Each action has their uh, have their own uh, settlement guarantee fund, mm. and it all and, uh, the core corpus, which is cash plus uh, uh, the collateral, which comes in as an additional mm. deposit margin and everything. That's where, in terms of futures exchange, there is a enough um, regulatory oversight from FMC, and there are enough guidelines. 
so in terms of uh, immediately i mean uh, i mean hitting on the sgf uh, may not seem to a possibility i think uh, enough confidence is there in mm. the system because there is a regulatory oversight uh, spot was a very different uh, ball game which fell somewhere in between and nobody really took uh, look at the baby mm. uh, so in immediate future i don't see uh, uh, basically a, some a run on the sgf and uh, default mm -hmm. default could arise because of the weakness of the client level or a ma broker level margining inadequacy because the funds are not flowing mm -hmm. uh, from where they might have taken the exposure but that small uh, uh, i mean thing compared to the system there in place mm -hmm. and uh, the kind of a margin which is online I think we will get early warning system for exchanges. Get early warning system for any weakness of any particular uh, member broker or a client, and they can always uh, take corrective measure. Yeah. So no they need to actually, panic. Actually, sir, the, uh, Mr. Patel, the uh, Bimal Jalan report highlighted uh, an important point in terms of ownership of market yeah. infrastructure institutions. We can't go into that excellent report at this juncture, yeah. though it was much criticized when it came out. Uh, do you think we should now concentrate on market ownership, even of these collateral institutions? I mean, we now. Listen, uh, hear that uh, the bulk holding corporation mm -hmm. is owned entirely by one company. Uh, it wasn't a problem when things were running well, yeah. but uh, you know, NCDEX, uh, uh, the uh, collateral agency, is somewhat and more diversely held, uh, with NCDEX having only a, a smaller stake, a, a minority stake in it. Uh, do you think now we should? suddenly start concentrating on this collateral agency, look at all the market infrastructure institutions from the point of view of ownership. You are, you are right. Actually, if you look at it, uh, and what uh, didn't see the light of the day was 20, uh, 2011 uh, notification on WDRA, mm. where the ownership structure was discussed, including the ownership structure okay, of spot okay. exchange. And that notification was almost ready to uh, and waiting for approval of the ministry, which has not come. And you are right. Not only that, there is also an issue of when you are looking at e electronic warehouse receipt and negotiable warehouse receipt, I think the depository system. And that was what we had actually uh, done that. Ownership of all this, the, the fundamental uh, what suggestion I can make, look at it, make this intermediary uh, system as a section 25 company not for profit mm. whether it's a clear and that's why a single clearing corporation and uh, depository we already have the system in integrate them and then have that so that the conflict of interest mm. does not arise government can run a public sector bank a public sector so many other public sectors and why can't they actually come and ownership should be such that it should be a public financial institution categorize them with yes. pfi and that's where we actually will hit at the core of the possible issue which can come up today or tomorrow. Yes, sir. You said it. Uh, I think that will be the way forward. You know, a commercially viable institution, but a not-for-profit yeah. uh, institution. Maybe we have to start very seriously thinking about market That's infrastructure true. institutions. It's a beginning, but we will continue yeah. with this discussion yes. in the days to come. Yeah. Thank you very much for dropping by, Master. Thank you. All right.